Well, hello and howdy, everybody. It's time for football. The weekend's coming. It's Friday afternoon here in Athens. It's homecoming for the University of Georgia, and we've got the University of Kentucky nice enough to offer us the opposition uh, for the football contest to this Saturday. Now, we're not here to talk about that game on this episode. Today, we're going to talk about fan bases. And since it is homecoming, what better time than to celebrate the best fans in the country, the University of Georgia. Hands down, the best fan base there is. They support the team financially. They show up for road games with consistency and numbers. And we uh, we actually... Uh, put 40,000 or so at the South Bend, Indiana and on a road game that we turned into a home game. And Georgia will do that if they get run into a, a game where the home crowd isn't buying a lot of tickets, so them Georgia fans will buy the difference. Uh, absolutely, hands down, the best fan base in the country, and it's not even close. Kind of like the football team this year. Now, Going in order uh, from worst to first, or in this case, we're going to go to the nicest group to the worstest group. So, talking about fan bases, it's based on behavior at the home games primarily, I guess, but the internet image, their social media activity, just the general attitude of the collective fan bases is what we're talking about. We decided to rank them. Top to bottom, the best fans in the SEC. Every stadium needs that 12th man uh, to win, and a lot of these fans provide a substantial 12th man, and ironically, those tend to be in the, the worst category, at least in terms from the general's perspective. And so understand, this is simply the general's personal ideas of the best and worst fans. Obviously, the best fans, from my observation, hands down, other than the University of Georgia, of course, is the Kentucky Wildcats. They have good fans. They represent pretty well. Sometimes they'll travel. I remember uh, uh, on the rare occasions they've had victories here. They, they fill up the dining establishments and the bars, and uh, they actually spend a lot of money when they come. So Kentucky, well-behaved fans, and we welcome them. Uh, as we do this week. Welcome, Kentucky fans. You're the best, and you're here this week. The next best fans will be the Missouri Tigers. Missouri's fans, are uh, they, they do travel well. Uh, two years ago, we had a game with them here, and they traveled pretty well, but they were well-behaved. I was able to uh, mingle with some of those before the game and got to talk to a few of them, and some very nice people, and the, again, the general activity was well-behaved. Mississippi State uh, and Mississippi and Texas A&M fill up the next three slots, and those really just kind of go as a unit because they, I don't really have much uh, recollection of seeing them here that much. They don't travel in great numbers to Georgia games anyway, and that could be because it's a quite a long trip. And for that reason, uh, it's kind of like we just go with what their image on the internet more than anything else. And I put Mississippi at 12th, Mississippi at 11th, and Texas A&M at 10th. That gets us on up the list a little bit. Then you got Vanderbilt at 9. Again, same problem. They don't travel that much. Hard to get a feel for how the fans are, and they don't even attend their home games. So Vanderbilt, in that sense, probably should be maybe worse. But as far as their behavior when they travel... Uh, they're a pretty mild bunch. Number eight, you got the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now, they travel well. They're generally well-behaved, but they're the sort of fan base that will always bring that raucous crowd with them, and it's just hard to ignore. Uh, they can't travel without sending a few hooligans along. So Arkansas is number eight in the SEC for uh, fans. Number seven, South Carolina. The Gamecocks are Georgia's uh, little brother, and they always will be, and sometimes little brothers misbehave. When they come here, they generally are pretty well behaved, but uh, in their home place, they can be a raucous crowd and remind you of LSU a little bit. A very tough place to play a football game when that crowd gets fired up, at least it used to be that way, maybe not as much today. South Carolina comes in at number seven. 
And number six is Florida. Now, we're basing that on how they behave in Jacksonville. We see them every year, so we don't see them here that much. But we all know what the Florida fans like, and they're obnoxious, especially if they win. It's just they should probably be on the top of the list, but I only put them number six because Florida, like everything, just does things halfway. Number five would be the Alabama crowd, and the Alabama fans... A little bit like the Georgia fans, they travel well and they're pretty well behaved and you know, you're pretty much going to see them guys in the luxury uh, lounges around town and then they do spend some money. We don't really see enough of them here to get a feel, but of course, yeah, they're Alabama fans and on the internet, they also kind of lay low, but they're, they're, they're a unique bunch and I guess it would have to be that way since their success over the years uh, would propagate a certain attitude. Number four on the list is LSU Tigers. Now, LSU is a raucous fan base, and you don't want to play a, a football game in their backyard. They can be really hard to deal with in the stadium. Their fans on the Internet are obnoxious, and they, they believe their team is better than it usually is, and they're just a disgruntled bunch at times. LSU is just a raucous crowd, and they uh, clearly earned that number four spot. Number three on the list, by default, will be the Georgia Tech. Now, they're not even in the SEC, but they used to be, and they're the in-state rivals, so we have to count them, and they are the most obnoxious fans when they win a ball game, especially in Athens. Yeah, it's been a long time. I almost forgot what that was like, but uh, they can be very obnoxious, And but lately, they don't even show up. I don't know if there are any more Tech fans, but... By default, they have a historical engraved notch at number three or better on the obnoxious fan meter. Number two on the obnoxious fan meter, most obnoxious fan group, number two on the list in the conference is Tennessee. Well, I mean, the Tennessee uh, fan is just unique. Uh, based on behavior at the home games, uh, pretty rowdy, but a little bit of mix but they they travel to our games they'll send a crowd in here and their internet behavior is absolutely uh just off the wall uh if you want to you want to get into a good internet argument just go talk to a tennessee fan they're the most delusional fans in the world uh, and the general attitude of the collective tennessee fan base uh squarely puts them at number two now, the number one obnoxious fan base, according to General Beauregard, uh, is the Auburn Tigers. Now, you go like, General, I, why is Auburn considered the worst? Well, it's mathematical. Auburn is the kind of bunch that tears up property. They do more property damage to their own place than they do here. But they've done some considerable damage to Georgia's hedges, and they, they, they hose down fans back in the 80s with a water pressure like they do in riots and it caused I think they got some lawsuits on that they burnt down their own uh, their own town when they won a game Auburn is a destructive fan base and their fans are obnoxious uh, but uh, by the same token they're, they're also obnoxious because when they come up to see a home game, they don't even rent one single hotel room. Everybody comes in some kind of minivan or some kind of way where they can hobnob without even paying a Motel 6 hotel tab. And of course, they don't spend any money in the restaurants and they get the hell out of here pretty quick because it's just a couple hours maybe on the drive home. So Auburn is like a mercenary. They come and run and tear up stuff and go home and put the tail between their legs. And then on the road, uh, if they ever have a head of steam, they, they can be obnoxious. So Auburn, the number one obnoxious fans in the SEC, and it ain't even close. Now, lately, they've been quiet on the Internet because they simply don't have any reason to make any noise. Their team is just... Kind of being rebuilt. So there's your list. General Beauregard broke it down for you. The number one to number 14, the best and the worst fans in the SEC, and quite obviously here at homecoming especially, number one best fans is the University of Georgia.